Oh my god. Good everyone. Uh Trent to me, yeah. Uh Trent, obviously a very new looking Bulldogs um, team this year, but it's a dog's win of old. How did you sort of find that pretty determination of that second half there? Yeah, it was. It was um just an extremely courageous effort by the not seventeen players, eighteen players there in the end. So it was um unbelievable really what they did. Um, to come up here, it's always a tough, tough trip to come to, to Townsville, but to go through what we had, we had five HIAs and ran out of reserves, had blokes playing out of position, used our 18th man, and to be able to hang on and get a win is um, great for us and great for the players, and I'm extremely proud of them. Did that galvanise them more out on the field, do you think, having everything go against them? Yeah, well, I think they showed it, you know, like, they didn't give up, and that's all we, we um, it's all I want from them. You know, there's there's certainly some things we, we can get better at, we know that. But they're a new group and I think to, to come together and show the grit and resolve that they did um, is a really, really good sign. You must have been impressed by the second half efforts compared to the first straight ball retention wasn't really there in the first and then yeah. you just get an easy metres up the middle. Was that was that the game plan? Is that what you said at, at half time? Yeah, we were we were off in the first half but we were good enough to hang on, you know, when we, we've learnt to win tonight without the ball, I suppose, and um, that's the sign of a, the, some good signs there in terms of team and togetherness, and especially when we've got seven new blokes in the side, so um, something that we can really, <clears throat> really build on now and get back home and work on a few things that we need to work on. How important is it getting a, a win in round one, Trent, just for the, for the team as a whole? Yeah, it's massive, you know, we... As I said, it's hard to get two points up here at, at any stage of the season and, and round one in these conditions and with the, the challenges that we faced in that game and um, the amount of new blokes that we've got in the side. and um, I'm just really proud of them, mate. Are there any immediate concerns from the HIAs after following the game? Uh, when, no, no, I don't think any of them are, are too bad. Um, it was it was pretty confusing there with a few of them. We, would, we had two ca Category 1s. Uh, that weren't to return, and they were ruled by the bunker, not by our doctor. Um, it is, it is a tough job up there with the unit, the arena changes, and uh, but I thought our bench, they did a good job in the end because it was pretty frantic and a few lessons for us as well as coaches in and around that. But just extremely proud of the players. They, they hung in and and uh, got a great win. What do you make of Matt Burton's performance in the halves? Obviously, first hit out for you guys. I thought his kicking game really put the Cowboys back and deep in their halves and made it difficult for them tonight. Yeah, his, his kicking was, was um, outstanding at times when we needed a big kick and he's got that. I thought we put ourselves under pressure a little bit with some of our last plays and, you know, it's something that we can work on. But um, in terms of um, a pretty game of football, no, it was not. But, you know, a win's a win, two points is two points and to come up here and do it, I'm extremely happy for him. Happy for the, for the players, happy for our members, happy for our board and, and all our fans as well, so... Um, gives us a, some some hope. How much pressure does that take off yourself and the, and the team moving forward, getting that round one win? Oh, look, I I don't think we're we're um, you know listening listening to any of that, but it's certainly nice to to get two points, definitely. Josh, how tough was it out there tonight, when the, especially when the heavens opened up with 20 minutes to go? It's always tough conditions up here. Obviously, the humidity and slippery ball, and we didn't make it easy for ourselves, particularly in the first half, just with our ball control and um, our discipline. I think the penalty count at halftime was 10-2 or something like that. So we made it pretty hard for ourselves. But, um, you know, in the end, it was a gritty win. It certainly wasn't pretty. And there's a lot we can improve on. But I think um, those type of wins um, build a lot of confidence and bring teams together. And I think for us, that's really important with the new team that we've got. You know, that'll galvanise us moving forward and um, give our younger guys in the squad confidence that um, when the game's on the line like it was tonight, you know, we can hang in there and um, we can um, get the two points. Josh, obviously the win there, um, with like a lot of, there's been a lot of talk about the new signings and everything that come in, but for you personally, did it feel like the Bulldogs still have that defensive grind out grit that you've had the past few seasons despite not getting the results? Yeah, well, I think we proved that um, tonight, you know, I think um, in the past, that's what Bulldogs teams have, have been known for is, is their resilience and their grit and um, we obviously want to be our own team but um, we want to be that as well I think at the end of the day um, the difference between some of the teams in the in the top eight and 
teams that aren't is that they close out tight games like that. So we certainly want to be a team that um, that can do can do that and win gritty games when they're on the line like that. We'd obviously like to um, do it a little bit um, easier than what we did, but that'll come from throughout the year with um, with our combinations and building relationships with each other. Trent, throwing forward to next week at the Broncos, what's it going to take to, to go 2-0 over Queensland teams in, in the space of two weeks and what do you expect from them after their win over over Souths on the weekend? Yeah, look, they'll be, they'll be confident. They were good. Brisbane, we watched that game. So a uh, big thing for us is our health to get home and, and see who's available and um, we're back at home. So... It's an opportunity for our fans to come and, and watch their team at home, which is important for us. It's important that we put on a good performance back there. So, um, you know, winning starts um, on Monday for us and um, we've got to prepare for next week now. So uh, just good good to get off to a good start, but extremely proud of the players, the way they hung in, because that, that doesn't happen very often. It's, that was a tough win. Just on health, how close was Kavita to playing tonight? <clears throat> yeah, he failed his fitness test today. so. Uh, he was pretty close. He give himself every chance, but he's he's um, yeah he he'll be he'll be playing next week. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.